Hey, it's sunny as heck. Uh, hi everybody. Uh, I accidentally formatted my GoPro, so all the settings went back to normal, and I don't know what normal settings are. So hopefully I haven't screwed anything. Well, I guess we'll find out tonight when I edit this. Record in 1080p, but then I rent, I, ex I export the video in 4K, and that doesn't really add up. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> I guess let's go do something. I know yesterday I said I didn't want to do anything, but then how can I not? Like, I don't get this very often, so. I have a spot that I want to go to, spend a couple hours there, come back. But I'm, I'm not gonna stream tonight, so I'm gonna spend that time focusing on trying to find some materials so we can tie-dye. Hopefully today's the day, we'll get it all done. I'm cold though, I need to get some pants. So as you guys saw on the drive in here, there's a big castle. I've never been inside the castle, so I'm gonna see if I can do that today. So we're in a place called Conway, or Conway. I don't spend any time here really. It's kind of one of those seaside towns that doesn't really have much other than a castle. But I know that the castle wall is free to go on, so even if I can't get inside the castle itself, we can wander down the walls and, I don't know, just explore. It's nice to be in the sun for a bit. Even if it is pretty freezing, like it's probably 43 degrees, 45 degrees right now, Fahrenheit. It's not very warm. Pretty epic how the wall just arches over like that. Pretty trippy. This wall is nice because they've protected most of it. Made this like walkway going through. I'm pretty sure the wall goes around the whole town, but only certain sections are actually safe to walk. It's hard to imagine having to defend your town from a large wall. You have to be a, an accurate archer. It's hard to imagine why anybody would even want this town. It's not very big. My first obstacle. Well, sorry obstacle. I have to ignore you. And just do my thing. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. Let's make it dump things over the edge or something like that. See the issue. The fence it off. Well, with a little bit of sneaking, <laughs> we're around the other side. When I was building my castle in my Minecraft server, I was taking inspiration from the real stuff because I've lived around these things my whole life. I kind of understand how they build them. I climb this one. <laughs> All right, I hopped over real quick. Just to see what it's like up here. Nice. I mean, it's a beautiful town. Very, very nice. Uh, okay, that's why. But the height of that is like my knee. I can see why they don't want people up here now. Little do they know, when I was young, I would climb these walls. So I lived in a place to, um, that had a castle, and it also had these walls surrounding it, and I lived with inside, inside the walls. So my whole life, I've had castle walls to play on. So I'm probably the only person that could get away with sneaking around because yeah, I've done it my whole life. In the town that I lived in, it wasn't as accessible to get on the walls, so you had to do a bit of climbing. People often got in trouble for doing it. What I'm saying is I've had a lot of practice. I'm not just being a naughty boy. It 
it's really quite nice when you only allow yourself a couple hours to be outside because then I'm kind of in a hurry, I'm kind of moving quickly but also it doesn't matter how much I see because I know I've only got a couple hours anyway it's nice, I don't know, I'm not putting like any expectations on being outside houses would look like back then when this was made. It's kind of hard to imagine it. Probably thatched roofs, mud huts, I don't know. Where's all the Syrian flags, the Palestinian flags, the Libyan flags, the Iraqi flags? I don't know man. It's just weird when, we, when our countries bomb somewhere else, where's the support? It's nice though, it's nice to see people care but can you care every time instead of being selective? Instead of just caring when it's popular? So I could have gone into the castle but it was like 10 quid and they were shutting so I'm not gonna waste 10 quid for a couple minutes. Um, I will come back though because I am curious what it's like in there. It's a similar size castle to the one I left, live next to but it's, it's quite rare. It's one of the only castle walls that are still intact. A lot of them have just been broken in different places. This one's all still doing good. Pretty much goes around the whole town. I think I've walked the whole thing. Yeah, and it goes down to the dock now. Okay, so over there it's a bit broken. But still, it's really impressive. If you can imagine it, each one of these towers would have had multiple floors with people, I don't know, maybe staying in. Um, guards obviously would be working there. Which is cool. It's cool, people can build with stones and it just stays. Just stays there. It's not even like flat or smooth, but it works. It's just interesting, I don't know. It's so close to the ocean too, you've got the ocean, the salt water flying in, but it doesn't seem to, to do anything to it. I hope I got that on film, that was so good. So I walked in and they were all just they were all just staring at me, like they were having a meeting and I walked into it. Then as soon as I pulled the camera out, they all flew towards me. <laughs> it's a nice town, like look at these houses. Old school. I don't know what that effect is called, where they use the black timber, or well, they paint it black, but I love it. Nice little town. Some boats there that look pretty abandoned, unfortunately. Nice boats too. It's strange seeing small boats because usually small boats are, um, they're sailed by like one dude, one person can operate it. But that just seems like, that's a lot. You have to steer, pull all the ropes, everything all on your own. I like bigger boats because it requires more people and then it's, I don't know, it's more fun. It's, it's more cooperative and collaborative. Wow, so much information here on this board. Thank you so much. So it's hard to imagine where this wall would have gone because it just ends abruptly here. So who knows? Actually, it continues a little bit there, actually. It goes all the way across there. So what would this bit have been for then? Just been eaten by ivy. <laughs> kind of obsessing a little bit over this castle. I think it's really cool. business time.
me now. I gotta really focus. There we go. So uh, I try to climb a wall and just let my my trousers open completely. Uh, oh well. <laughs> yeah, I've had these for a while. It's time to make new. Just, you've already prepared food the day before. So easy. It's nice. Okay. Update. Spent six hours, maybe, looking at different types of pants on Alibaba. I'm referencing this here. So I've asked a couple of my friends to help me pick out like what should I work with. So we're doing harem, um, doing flare, and maybe some boot cut. And I'd like to try I'd like to try and do some some sweatpants as well. The next step, that's the easy bit, picking materials is easy. And then the next step, you have to go on Alibaba and then look for like white harems. Now it ain't easy. <laughs> it ain't easy. Alibaba is not an easy website to work on. You just have to go through like a bajillion listings that are sponsored. So they've hidden it in there and it messes with all the search results. So once I've found the material that I'm looking for, which I haven't yet, I haven't really found any good ones. Like, this step usually takes me weeks because I just spend loads of time researching, making sure I find the right thing. And then what I do once I've found it is I try and find that exact same thing that is ethically sourced in the UK. So I don't usually buy from Chinese websites, or I haven't done in like many, many years. But I use their, their um, search because they have the most items. Like I'm looking for harems and it's just giving me the word white. Maybe let's just do harem. It's just so tough to work on. So yeah, obviously I'm looking for like beige or white. The last material I worked with was hemp. That works really well. Cotton, maybe. Just trying to find things that tie-dye go into really well. Nylon, stuff like that won't work. Like something like this would be really fun, but they're really big. So that means it takes a lot of dye. So I'm not trying to look for something that baggy because it's just, it's just a waste of money, really. Some loose harem sweatpants. See, that sounds fun. That sounds really fun. They look comfy. See, these could be fun. That could be a really fun, that's like a combination of what I want, really. Sweatpants with pockets, and they're like low cut. So then, once I've found something, I either have to get them to send me a test piece. I buy one piece and just see what the material is like. But if I buy anything from China, it takes weeks to get here, it's a problem. So I'm probably gonna look for someone in the UK that sells this kind of stuff. Get them to send me a, a tester and then buy from them. So it's a bit more expensive, but it gets to me faster and they speak English, which is useful. These are the prices usually, roughly, you're spending usually between five and 10 bucks per pair. Then as you buy more, if you decide to buy more, you can get them way cheaper. So it's like 520 bucks for 100 pairs of casual loose men harem pants. Trouble is, these aren't even white, so I can't actually dye them. I'm trying to find all white stuff, so then the dye pops out more. But I like that idea. I can't. I've, I've spent hours trying to decide. I think, I think I am going to go with uh, harem sweatpants. That sounds really fun. Because I've done harem pants before, but I wanted to switch it up. But sweatpants, sweatpants are comfy. I mean, it's still cold. So basically, what I've <laughs> what I've learned is that this is not a one day job. I can't just allow myself one day to get this done. It's it's difficult. I have to consult a lot of people and get different opinions. Let me do some communal research because you guys are the customers. What type of pants are you looking to buy? What are you in the market for? Are you looking for yoga pants? Are you looking for sweatpants? Are you looking for some harams? Are you looking for some shorts? Are you looking for some low cut? I don't know, like, what, are you, what are you into? And I could basically tie dye anything, but I'm trying to find the things that people most want because then I could buy it in bulk and it's cheaper for me. And if I'm working on the same type of material, I don't have to like learn my techniques on other pieces all the time. Because right now it's me. I'm the only one working the store and eventually there's gonna be two of us. So I'm just trying to get off the ground here. In the comments, just let me know what kind of material you think it would be fun to wear. And then I will find it and I will tie dye it. That's it for now, it's 1 a.m. I was trying to get to bed early tonight. So thanks guys, thanks for hanging out once again. I will be here tomorrow. I'm here every day, so thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thanks for liking, commenting, all those things. I appreciate it. Hopefully I find a good title for this video, otherwise you guys won't click on it. Yeah, bye.